Okay, so I'm going to show you the spot removal tool. It's very easy to use and it's very powerful. If you are using Photoshop, you know probably how to use this tool already because it's exactly the same. It's not the same algorithm. Uh, it's not the content aware alg um, algorithm, unfortunately, because that would be great to have it in Lightroom. It's based on the old um, spot algorithm that we've been using in Photoshop since I think Photoshop DS yes, three or four. Um, it is still very powerful. So here is the portrait. Uh, you can use it on any photo you like because the spot removal um, will be useful to remove anything on your photo you don't want. That's that's his name, spot removal. It can be dust on your lens. It can be um, someone you want to remove from the photo in the background. It's it, it needs to be quite simple because again, it's not the content aware, so you can't remove a big complicated subject in your photo but say for spots on a portrait that would be ideal for example I'm going to zoom in and we want to remove these uh, small spots here on the, on, the, on the face so spot removal can be found uh, along the, the tools for local adjustments so here's the adjustment brush we've got the radial filter the graduated filter the red eye correction and then the spot removal so the, sh the keyboard short key is actually Q and um, you can change the size, so the brush size, that can be changed as well with the mouse wheel. And the feather to get soft edges, and you will see a second circle going on the brush. So it can be smaller or just no feather at all. Usually I do use a bit of feather. And then the opacity, and you've got two modes, heal, that's going to bend, um, this is going to blend the textures between the source and the destination and clone who is going just to clone the pixel so for this kind of portrait of course you want to use heal uh, you don't want to clone um, pixels so in Lightroom 5 uh, they introduced a new way to use the spot removal because before what you had to do is just one click one click and then you couldn't really do freehand retouches Say, for example, if I want to do this, as you can see, I can draw the shape I want. However, it wasn't possible in Lightroom 4 and, um, and previous. So if, you, if, the, um, if the source for the texture is wrong, just like now, because obviously you don't want to introduce something from the neck, which is blurry on top of that, uh, onto the face. So I'm going to replace that and say, no, I want you to go there. And inject the texture and of course it works a lot better so if you're using Lightroom 4 unfortunately we have to deal with all the clicks necessary to do something very precise which was I have to say very time-consuming but now we can use um, we can use just freehand and that's very 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 useful now if I use alt again this is new from Lightroom uh, 5 I can remove all the spots removal uh, brushes I've been using. I mean, all the spots I've removed, I can change them obviously with just one click. So say I can just click on it and then replace the source of the texture, but I can remove them with Alt and then I draw on top of it and that will remove all the spot removal processes. So now if I had to retouch this photo very quickly, of course I'm gonna use the freehand uh, brush. So I'm just drawing shape to make sure I remove all the small spots. You can still use just one click if you want to. I mean, sometimes, as you can see, it works maybe better sometimes than a freehand. And for tricky areas like this, because when you've got like a contrast uh, zone where you've got like some highlights and some shadows, sometimes the algorithm is gonna be um, fooled by, by the picture and it's gonna look for something very far away from from the um, the area you're cloning, and that's what happened at first when he went uh, he went on the uh, on the neck. So sometimes you have to uh, change the texture, which is yeah not a big deal. I'm gonna go just maybe there under the eyes. Let me undo this because that wasn't really great. So just maybe using a smaller brush. Yeah, we've got it now. And the second one, that's it. And now go on the sec on the other eye. 
okay second brush and that's it so I should spend a bit more time now on this portrait but I'm gonna do just a quick before and after and bear in mind we didn't use any uh, negative clarity to get a smoother skin so it is quite nice to get such a, a nice result just with spot removal look the before and after let me zoom in on the face and now we've got a better base to work on this photo say for example I could just take the local adjustment and reset all the settings by double clicking on effect and then maybe some negative clarity like minus 70 and now look at that the skin will be really smooth like baby skin and still got some details nice details because it's very sharp but the skin is very smooth so you can do the uh, the spot removal process before the negative clarity or after it doesn't really matter but now if we just check before and after you can see the difference it's pretty um, it's pretty clear that we removed all the spots that we wanted and that was what like only five minutes maybe so if I had to spend more time we will get like a really really nice result so it is very easy to use it's just a tiny bit unfortunate that we can't use the uh, content aware because this is a portrait but say on a photo you want to remove like a road sign or something like this if the background is really complicated and you've got like a, uh, a texture or pattern I have to say the content aware will do a better job so you still have to send your photo to Photoshop to process this kind uh, of pictures but it's just that Lightroom is made for development it's not made for visual effects and special effects so when you've got to remove something that is too complicated I think Adobe would consider that it's visual effect it's not developing a raw file anymore so that's why they don't want to put too much from Photoshop into Lightroom because Lightroom is for photographers it's not for uh, matte painting or compositing artists so yeah we can still debate about that. Um, I think the uh, content aware would be a nice addition, even for photographer, because sometimes if you do like landscape photography, or time lapses, or basically anything landscape, um, we have sometimes quite complicated uh, elements to remove, and with the uh, spot removal, it's a tiny bit tricky, and we still have to send it to Photoshop. But anyway, uh, I'd like to hear your uh, your opinion about this, and if you have any question, uh, again, don't hesitate to ask. Right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.